Hello friends! Today we are coming to you with a new video comparison of the two self-standing two-person tents of different price categories. One tent would be really cheap, Quechua MH100, this one. And one on a more expensive side, MSR Elixir 2. They have similar weight and dimensions and we wanted to explore what would be the major differences. So the MSR tent we bought just recently as an upgrade for our backpacking trips. And this Quechua tent we've had almost for two years now and was used mostly by our family members when they were coming to visit us and we stayed in the campgrounds. So we hope you'll enjoy this fun little comparison as we had fun few minutes. Let's begin! So starting with the folded size and dimensions of both tents, as you can see it is quite different. Quechua folds down to 55.5 cm to 15 cm and MSR to 51 cm to 17 cm. Now let's have a look at what's in the kit with these tents. With Quechua there are only 6 metal packs that weigh quite a lot. We didn't have the original packs with us, but we'll insert the picture of them here. Two separate poles that don't cross, made out of fiberglass, a tent body and a rain fly. With the MSR tent there is the frame of the tent with all poles attached together and crossing over in the middle. One little pole that crosses the main frame, 12 aluminum tent packs and three separate parts – tent body, rain fly and footprint. Next up is the comparison of the installation process. It seems like the Quechua tent is clearly easier to set up, because there is no separate footprint and all you do is setting up the tent body, inserting the poles into the mounts attached to the tent body, poles are crossing in the middle, then hooking the tent body to the frame, the clips and poles are not color-coded, but it is easy to do anyway, then covering it with the rain fly making sure that the entrance of tent body coincides with it. Rainfly is fixed to the metal loop by hooks. And finally, pitching all six packs in place. With the MSR, setup process is somehow similar because of its self standing construction. We are putting the footprint first, pitching it to the ground with four packs, attaching the tent body to the four packs, then it is turned for setting the frame. The poles are different in color, and the gray pole goes into the gray mount, and the red one goes into the red. After that we attach the tent body to the frame with the clips that are color coded so you know to which pole goes the clip. Then it is turned for the rain fly. You can put it either side but making sure that you attach the small middle pole to it first, then it all falls into place. Finally pitching it to the ground with 8 packs left. In the end Quechua setup results quicker and easier, especially if you do it for the first time. Because compared to MSR you don't need to check the colors of the poles and clips and put in the three separate parts together, as the pole has to go into three loops of three tent parts. Talking about the dimensions and appearance, they are also quite different. Quechua weighs 2.2 kg and MSR 2.5 kg. Dimensions for the MSR are 213 cm long, 127 cm wide and 102 cm high. For the Quechua it is 200 cm long, 120 cm wide and 105 cm high. When we look at these tents from the outside, we apparently can see that Quechua is narrower and smaller. In Quechua there are no vestibules, which would feel like a big downside, personally for us, who like to store our backpacks there. Also compared to MSR that has two full vestibules and two exits, there is only one exit in Quechua. When we enter inside, we can clearly feel how the Quechua is lacking the space. Even though it is several centimeters higher than MSR at its peak, but the MSR is much wider thanks to its frame construction and thus it creates a whole lot more space inside. Of course, the floor of MSR is a bit wider and longer as well. Also in MSR there are four pockets, two huge ones on the sides and two smaller ones up over the head. In Quechua there is only one small pocket in the feet, where would fit only a mobile phone and small things alike. There are two ventilation openings on the rainfly of MSR, whilst in Quechua there is only one. In regards to the quality of materials, in the Quechua tent it is quite poor. The fabric feels cheap and unreliable and thus the great waterproofness of the tent may not be guaranteed. It is made out of 75% polyester and 25% polyethylene. The poles are made of fiberglass and the zippers are no name, of course. 
In MSR you can feel even by the touch that it is a high quality reliable materials with 68D ripstop polyester for the rainfly, canopy fabric made of 40D ripstop nylon and floor fabric of 70D nylon, as well as all the zippers and poles are of MSR brand. Now it's time to compare the wrapping up process. With Kichua first unpacking all six packs, then unhook the rainfly from the tent body and detach the tent body from the frame, removing the poles and then attaching the poles rolling everything tight together. With MSR tent unpacking the rainfly first and taking it off, then unhooking the tent body. Very important to unhook the tent body first before removing the frame as you won't be able to do it after leaving the four main packs in place until the end in order for the tent not to move, then removing the frame and rolling everything together. Concluding the wrap-up process we can say that with Kichua it is quicker and easier. The same as with the setup. Less parts means less hustle. With MSR you can store the poles and tent separately or wrap it up together, but they will stick out of it anyway. Comparing the price of these tents the difference is quite drastic. MSR Elixir 2 costs around 250 to 170 euros and Kichua on the Decathlon website costs 25 euros. Concluding this comparison, we can say that Kichua MH100 tent is good for a short term use several times a year as it has cheap materials that can wear out quickly. Setup and wrap up process is quicker with Kichua because it has less parts. We don't like that Kichua has only one exit and no vestibules at all. The MSR Elixir has a lot more reliable and expensive materials, two big vestibules with exits and clearly more space inside because of its construction. But the setting up process can be confusing at first. Also I wanted to point out that on Decathlon website there is available a new model of the Kichua Mage 100 tent with several improvements and added features. But the price is the same. You can check out all the links in the description. And this was all of our comparison of these two quite different, but at the same time somehow similar tents. All in all we think that the MSR has clearly more durable materials and quality-wise it is much more reliable. The Kachua may be a great tent for a short-term use on a short hiking or biking trips several times a year, especially if you don't want to make a big investment. It puts all into place if you consider the price tag. Anyway, we hope it was useful and amusing for you to watch. Let us know what is your experience with these tents, if you own one of them, and just leave your opinions in the comments below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be the first one to know when our new video is out. We're signing off for now, and hope to see you very soon on our next video. Bye, guys!